just tell us what Asian Access is? Sure, I'd be happy to. Asian Access is a ministry that comes alongside key leaders and builds their capacity so that they can be uh, more effective in their own lives and ministries and it will accelerate them in the work that God has called them to. So we say, we change the few who change the many. As Joe suggested, our plan is to impact the emerging leaders so that they can impact the nation. So our dream is to come to Thailand, identify some key players who will sponsor us, who will support us, who will endorse the work that we are doing. Because one thing that we do not want to do is to enter into a country without the invitation of some of the key players in the nation. And then meet with them, some of the key future leaders who can be empowered. The Asian Access is not so much of an intense theological degree, but rather a coming, to, coming alongside uh, the emerging leaders and help them to serve the Lord better. Our dream, our vision, I would say, is to help someone's dream to be fulfilled. That's what Asian Access is committed to. I believe that you have been living life and you have been serving the Lord. Can you give us one thought-provoking idea? So one of the things that I think Asian Access instills in the life of the leader is something that most people would say, oh, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> Everyone should be doing that that's a kingdom leader. But we come alongside and we really invest deeply mm -hmm. in the lives of a leader mm -hmm. to build their capacity in their walk with Jesus. Yeah. So renewing in your life. Even me, when I joined as the president of Asian Access, I thought, oh, that's, that's just normal stuff for every Christian. But as you go deeper and deeper and deeper in Christ, and you grow in community with each other, the profound difference it makes in your ability and your growth personally as well as in ministry is amazing. Yeah, it's personal growth that generates all other kinds of growth, right. including your ministry. That's awesome. What about you, Adrian? One of the things that have surprised me as an Asian is how much we sacrifice our family life mm. on mm. the altar of service. Right. And I have seen many key leaders pay a heavy price. Either they lose their ministry because there is no emphasis on the family, they have lost their wife, or they have lost their children. One of the key things that we want to emphasize is that the family is a priority. Mm. And we would help the younger generation to know that it is a walk with God and never sacrifice the family on the altar of service and one of the sessions we do is on the family right we bring the spouse so we get the husband and wife to sit together and go through some passages of scripture and view our culture as to how we view marriage and take them through some uncomfortable moments but yet helpful moments for the future you know, I don't hear about that very often. Yes. And um, I believe when you share that topic to um, a lot of ministers, and not only in Thailand, but in many places, it's to bless a lot of people. Last week I was in, or two weeks ago, my wife and I were te leading this marriage uh, conference in huh. Bhutan. And one of the leader's spouses stood up, and this is about three days in, and she said, you know, I was very skeptical about this Asian access thing. I thought, oh, it's just another one of those leadership training things. My husband will go and mm. he'll come back and no change. She goes, wow, this week has been powerful. She goes, nobody in our country is vulnerable. And yet everyone here has shared. Everyone's opened up. And now my husband and I are closer and we're walking with God deeper. And it's, I believe this is really going to change our nation. And we're, yes. we're praying for Thailand. Thank you very much. And we hope to meet you in Thailand too. Yes. And enjoy the rest of the week yeah. in the paradise of Bali. <laughs> we will. Thank you. May God bless you. God bless, bless you as well. Thank you.